Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be just talking about mainly shiny. Um, I uploaded a haul recently, <laughs> uh, just kind of showing what I've gotten so far this year. Uh, and I actually just got these today and I wanted to film a video. Um, since I mentioned just making a video purely for shiny because this is more of a shiny haul. So if you are into shiny and you want to hear... Uh, my thoughts on these albums and just overall my collection plans for them stick around if not um, <laughs> uh, just look for <laughs> for another video uh, so yes I got uh, Key's repackaged for his first studio album I Wanna Be Onyu's solo debut with voice and epilogue which is Shiny's last uh, release uh, in Korea as a group as of right now um, since they are on the, all in the military except for Temi. So I'll just kind of go one by one and I'll start with Key. So I, also, I have the original version of this album, like the, the standard edition. Uh, um, I think I did an unboxing for it and a review. But overall, I just really enjoyed the sound for this. It's more of my style. If I had to pick like, um, for my favorite solos from Shiny, like Temin is definitely still number one, but um, ever since Key had his, you know, um, solo debut, Key is uh, right below him in terms of um, kind of the members' music that I like the most uh, for their solo projects. projects. Um, and I've always felt like he is always really uh, underrated in terms of just, um, or I would. I will just say underappreciated. I don't know. Um, because uh, he's probably kind of like the most versatile member in my opinion. Like he just has it all. Um, and yeah, people just don't really mention it a lot in, in my opinion. But I was really, really looking forward to his solo debut just because I know he can really dance. Uh, he's a good rapper and he's a great singer and just overall a phenomenal performer. Um, and he's, he was just born to be on stage. And yes, and I knew that I was going to like it musically uh, just because of what um, whenever they do kind of like um, solo stage and stuff like that. Um, Key always has like his own style and I just really gravitate a lot to um, just the musical sounds that he um, performs most of the time. So I was really pleased with uh, with this and I, I'm really looking forward to another solo project from him once he returns from the military. Uh, hopefully SM, you know, backs that up um, just because he's so, 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 so talented and yes, yeah, so I, it took me a while to get this because I don't know. I feel like um, the repack is a, um, more expensive or maybe where I was looking for when I was looking for it. It was just much more expensive. And um, if you don't know, but I'm kind of cutting on buying a lot of K-pop albums, especially in groups that I have collected for a long time. Um, but Shiny is within that exception that I really do want to kind of keep up with. Um, whatever they release um now but now when it comes to just uh multiple versions i'm not going to be getting into that and i did not think that he was going to get a repackage and right when i bought his re uh, regular edition he released this version and i was so upset uh, but now i have two copies of the album uh, i don't know if i'll sell the regular edition probably not um, but I have this <laughs> version as well just because I want to have all the songs and I know he released a solo project in Japan um, I haven't given it too much of a listen um, I think I just kind of um, uh, qu quickly listened through the songs not really spent my time sitting down and listening to it just because in general I know I know I'm gonna take a while just to dive into anything shiny Japanese wise um i have a few of their studio albums um and i've gotten some of Temin's solo projects in japan but it's just so expensive i just right now i'm not in the um um just ex expensive why 
expense because of my of ex personal expenses and just in general trying to save I am not trying to get like um, Japanese albums brand new just because they're so expensive so usually with like a year or two they get um, 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 just much less expensive or sometimes they release like a Taiwan version I just would get that because I just mainly want the songs but that's just kind of my little thing with Tim uh, with now with Timmy with with key um so yeah uh I I just was really really proud of him now own you is a special case because um I wasn't too surprised with the direction that he took with this because um own you is much more of a ballad type of um style of singing in a way just my opinion regarding him and I was for sure <laughs> um expecting a an album like this not that it's a bad album by any means it's just something that I don't like would listen to on a regular basis um one thing I would say is that you can really appreciate um his vocals throughout this whole album um Onyu is a phenomenal singer. Phenomenal. And um, I don't know if he's going to really dive into building his like, uh, legacy as a solo artist. I feel like this was more of a gift to the fans more than anything. Um, I see him more in, like, into acting like Minho. Uh, but yeah, who knows? Maybe he will release something else that's completely different from this. And um, I will be more likely to listen to it on a regular basis. And because of that same reason, it took me a while to get this album um, since it wasn't something that I would listen to constantly or more more on a regular basis. Um, and I, I, I'm still really happy that he got the chance to debut as a solo. And obviously, I wanted to support it. Um, and yeah, so uh, I found, went ahead and got it because I got it for a really, really good price. And finally, um, Shiny's epilogue. This another thing kind of relating to um, um, getting like other versions of Shiny album. So I have um, all three versions of this album. Like I think they go by parts. Well, I got the part one, part two, and part three. And basically it's most of the songs, but not all the songs. And I'm one of those people that just prefers all the albums in one. I mean, all the songs in one album. And obviously I want all the songs. So it took me a while to get this. But eventually I got it for a good price. Because this goes for pretty... This is pretty expensive for last time I recall. And I didn't want to pay for that... Pay it for the regular price. Just because I had all the albums actually brand new as well so I just like I don't really care for photo cards so I wanted just to have this version as a complete set um and I did not expect for SM2 releasing compilation for it but I should have known better because they did that with um the misconceptions series and um yeah so <laughs> um regardless um I really um, just appreciate um, that they took the time to create this album, especially with the absence of Jonghyun. Um, and yeah, we'll just see what they'll come out with next. Uh, I don't think Shiny is going to like completely disappear um, um, at all. It just seems like um, from, especially now that they, that SM kind of teased a little bit more about like Shiny coming back. Um, it's just unfortunate because even though it was great having Temin promote a lot with um, all the other members kind of doing their um, military service, uh, then he has to go and then it's just like a three of them kind of waiting for Temin. So hopefully we'll get an album um, and then Temin um, goes to the army so we can just... Uh, hear them as a whole as much as possible 
Um, and yeah, and also another album that I ordered that is missing. It's kind of like the last thing that I'm waiting for is Temin's Want um, with his second mini album. Um, but since it's been, I, which is another reason why I didn't want to extend um, this video, uh, uploading this video to have that album here because Temin is rumored and basically confirmed to make a comeback um soon um i don't know with with everything that's going on if that's going to be delayed till late of the late in the year or something that which i don't think so i think latest probably july um but we'll see maybe when i upload this the next day that he uploads the teaser or something but uh i'm really excited for what he's going to put out this year uh, but if it is a full length album, I am not going to buy it until they really confirm that he's either going to get a repack or not. Um, uh, because I don't want to be buying multiple versions of things. One, for money purposes. And two, because I've organized all my K-pop albums, um, all over my house. Like, really well organized. Everything's in the specific spots and shiny is one of the groups that i have um a designated area in my living room and uh it's on the shelf and everything it's all of their stuff all together and i don't want it to be too crammed or ha not have enough space to put all my shiny albums and i don't want to waste space by having multiple albums with the same songs um and it's i just don't have the space or the money to really just spend on multiple versions of things but that's kind of like my thing now i do have multiple versions of shiny albums that i got in the past uh, but i'm gearing towards just trying to have one version of things which is why i don't know if i'll sell like regular editions for um like, for example, for Key Solo or, or like the part one, part two, part three. Uh, I think I might just keep those because I, I, I love the songs. <laughs> but I just I'm just trying to minimize um, buying m multiple things that have the same songs. So that's just kind of how I see it. So anyways, guys, I'll just be uploading a Temin video once um, the second mini album arrives and who knows what uh, if he's going to have another mini or a full length album um, and I'll just make like a, a Temin haul and probably by the end of the year I'll make a, a shiny collection video uh, just because I feel like even though I'm not buying a lot of things this year I am primarily focusing on um, shiny and girls generation um projects in general so um those are the thing the main ones that i'm buying from um but yeah all right guys i hope everyone stays safe and healthy